Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Happy Friday this day, June 12th, 2020. Let me know if you can hear me OK, if you want to say hello. Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Hello. Hello, guys. <clears throat> Today, what I'd like to do, I'm going to get right into it because I, again, want to give you as much time as possible in class to continue working on what we started yesterday. We started yesterday talking about a matrix. We started filling out a matrix based on some topics that relate to progress. And one of the things I wanted to stress, especially after having talked with the other Prope group this morning, I want to remind everyone that the idea of this task is to think about progress as being something that changes over time in the past up to the present, but that is that is positive. All right, so we can look at all of these topics like health, peace, you know, uh, even happiness, and we can find challenges currently, right? We can find problems with some of these, uh, maybe if not all of these uh, topics, there are certainly problems that exist. But what we want to focus on is looking at, at each one of these or some of these topics from a historical standpoint up to now, but in terms of positive change. So we want to think about progress and discuss progress in terms of something that has improved since the past up to the present. Okay, so be thinking about that when you're uh, looking at your matrix again today and you're developing your title, your context, and your measurements. Again, if you need some ideas, I would start with basically either this video that we talked about earlier and or look at this wiki page, this PDF file, which basically is a Wikipedia entry. And you'll notice here there are a lot of different topics as well that relate to progress. Some of these overlap with the topics that were mentioned in the video, others do not. So I think either this document or the video or looking at both of them is going to give you a good starting point when you're looking at other websites, other um, news articles, and other, vi other videos that you want to use to support your ideas. But again, think about progress as being something positive that happened from the past. It could be the past 10, 15, 20, 50 years, 100 years, whatever the case may be. But think of it as something positive, something that is, is better today than it was in the past. All right, so today what I'd like to do, and let's go to, uh, let's see. Let's go to Microsoft Teams, and we're going to go to our file again under week 16, progress matrix. And when you guys are developing your ideas for your context and measurements, remember to write and complete sentences. Remember that a sentence begins with a subject and then follow is followed by a predicate or a verb phrase. So make sure that you have a complete sentence. A complete sentence has a subject and a verb. All right. Think of your text or your context as answering some of the question words. What? Where? When? Why? With whom? You don't have to answer all of the questions, but answer a few of those in specific detail so that uh, it's a little clear as to the scope of what you want to talk about. How we don't want to talk about everything under the sun. We want to focus on one particular aspect of our title. Remember that our title should have six to 12 words. All right, six to 12 words is a pretty good range for us to think about when we think about our topic or our title. Now, sometimes I'm going to call it a topic. Sometimes I'm going to call it a title, but it's essentially the title of your paragraph. OK, so again, think of including six to 12 words for. For for that. Now, also make sure if you haven't already that you've included a hyper 
text for your sources. Okay, so we have four different columns here. I think four is plenty. You need to have at least one. Uh, many of you have more than one. That's fine, uh, but include the link here. Now, I've noticed that there are some of you who have measurements, but you haven't included your sources. Okay, so you're going to need the uh, the sources in order to understand the measurements. The measurements are going to come from the sources. The sources are going to tell you or show you what kind of measurements are used to measure the type of progress that you're talking about. So make sure that in, your, in the matrix that you include the source. All right, so today the first thing we need to do is make sure we finish the matrix, make sure we have complete sentences, make sure all this information is uh, completed. And when you finish, we're going to go back into the virtual classroom, again under week 16 slash 17, and we're going to go down to where it says progress wiki. Now, once you've finished with the matrix, it's very important that you finish first the information in the ma matrix. When you finish that, then copy the following, the topic, the context, and the measurements, bring that over to your wiki. And then add the references, any references that you're going to plan on using, write out the references according to APA. Okay, so remember you're going to have, if you have an author, you're going to begin with an author. You're going to have a date with in parentheses. You might have the title of the web page or the title of the article. You might include the name of the news, uh, news um, association. You might have that, and you also will include the link. All right, so these are going to be the four things to include in the wiki, but again, only after you've completed the matrix. Now we're going to continue working next week in this wiki. So as we progress, these instructions will change, right? But for right now, we want to focus on finishing the matrix and then bringing over information to your to your wiki. Okay, so are there any questions about what we're going to do today uh, during uh, today's online session? Uh, ben, could you repeat what do we have to include in the space for measurements, please? All right, let me go back. All right, let me show you some examples. Okay, if you look here, um, we have the topic, Fighting for Freedom, Voices on the Rise. Okay, so here it looks like, it says here, um, the, it says that there are many ways to measure freedom, but the Human Freedom Index covers 159 countries. So this information uh, she probably got from one of these sources, but this is an index that she that they used in order to measure freedom. All right, so the information she just pulled directly from from the article. That's that's basically it. Let's look at another example. Um, like here, we usually measure uh, safety depending on how many problems have occurred. Now, there's probably a, a better way to measure safety, and we would have to look deeper into these sources to get a better, it could be an index, it could be an instrument, it could be a specific procedure. This is what we're looking for. Let the articles tell you specifically what it is. So in this example, I would ask for a little bit more detail in the measurements. Um, here it says happiness is measuring through cognitive factors such as, again, this might be enough. It depends on if there's even more of a specific way of measuring uh, happiness. Okay, it depends. But this, if this is coming directly from the source, then that's okay. 
Um, let's look at another example here. This is a good example. The first index is the Global Peace Index and is currently including 162 countries. All right, so that's a good, that's, that's what we're looking for. Here, I'm not sure about this one because there's no, there's no uh, sources to back it up. Um, this topic is sustenance. Uh, the big companies of fast fashion make a decision. All right, so I think that this needs to be a little bit more specific to some sort of, again, procedure or instrument that they used in order to measure sustenance. Let's look at one more. Mexico ranks second highest in Happy Planet Index. Happy Planet Index, okay? So if we look up Happy Planet Index, we're probably going to get even more information about what it is. But you can include a few details about how this index works, okay? But this is how they're measuring, in this case, uh, happiness in, uh, or development of happiness in Mexico. All right, does that, uh, does that help, uh, Oscar? Yes, oh, now, I, now I see. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Anybody else have any questions about uh, what we're going to do today? All right, well, I'm going to continue. I'm going to mute my mic. I'll continue to look in the matrix. I may be leaving comments. I also may be asking... Uh, maybe discussing some of your topics with you as I as I uh, review uh, the matrix here. But if you guys have any questions, just jump in, unmute your microphone, and uh, ask away. Ben. Yes. Is it okay if I only have one reference, or do I have to to have more than one? Uh, one's enough if you have enough information. Yeah, we have just the. I'm only requiring one if it's enough to support what it is you want to say. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Paulina, taking a look here at your context, try to focus a little bit more on on the uh, not on the problem, even though it might be true that they they're struggling over the years. Uh, they've struggled over the years of, uh, over the educational conflict. Remember that the point here is that you're going to express progress. And progress for the purposes of what we're going to be doing, is basically change, positive change. All right, so if you want to talk about uh, South Sudan and education having improved in South Sudan, if, and if you're just talking about that one country or if you're talking about several countries, I'm not sure, but it needs to be that you're, you're going to be presenting evidence that there has been some form of an uh, improvement in education either in this one country or in, in several countries, okay? But you can think about the question words in the context, thinking about what, how, why, when, or where, and talk about those aspects of educational improvement in those countries, okay? Does that make sense? Yes, thank you. Okay. Uh, Stacy, I don't know if you have a mic. I'm taking a look at your your topic about eating disorders, and uh, the same thing I was talking to Paulina about. Uh, the, you know, think about the context addressing positive 
um, you know, positive change. So if you're going to talk about eating disorders, then you need to be prepared to talk about an improvement in the prevalence of eating disorders over the past, and you decide how long. Are we talking the last five years, 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, 100 years, based on the articles, based on the videos, the information that you're getting. But think about the context in, in terms of answering some of the question words, but about positive change. Right. Even though problem, I'm you know I'm cert I'm certain that there are still a lot of problems with eating disorders and, but we're this is not the purpose of this assignment. It's more looking at a historical account of an improved example, like some sort sort of an example of an improvement over time, versus uh, with using some of these um, different topics. All right. So. Um, I just want to make sure that, that that's clear, that we're not going to be focusing on the, the problems. And you need to be prepared to talk about uh, eating disorders and how there's been an improvement. Maybe there have been fewer eating disorders in America over time, right? So does that make sense, uh, Stacy? Yes, thank you. Okay. Uh, Wendy, also kind of the same idea. I'm taking a look here at your context. Um, do you understand what uh, what I've been talking about in terms of the purpose of expressing a positive change over the the past? Does that does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so I would slightly change your your focus and your context to to address more the the positive aspects. If you want to talk about, you know, more opportunities or maybe starting English earlier or, or whatever, you know, maybe that's, that would be a better way to, to look at progress in terms of positive change. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, Sylvia, I'm not sure if you're here. I can't see the list of, you know, yeah, or if you have a microphone. Okay. Yeah, so if you look at what you currently have, what I would focus on is where you say things are getting better. So just think about what you mean by things are getting better and talk about how they're getting better, when they're getting better, why they're getting better, uh, when are they getting better in terms of like in the past. Think about some of the question words and focus the context only on those specific aspects that you want to talk about in terms of things getting better. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Nigeli, kind of the same thing. Maybe take a look at your context and uh, focus a little bit more on the the positive aspects or the, the in terms of the type of progress that you want to talk about. Um, yeah, think about the enemy of the stereotype. So your you need to think about what you mean by freedom and how has freedom improved over the last few years, many years, whatever time period you want to, to talk about. But think about the question words. How has freedom improved? When has freedom improved? With whom has freedom improved? Where has freedom improved? All right. And you don't have to talk about all of those questions, but try to 
focus on a few of those in order to make your context slightly more specific, okay? Uh, Braulio, do you have a microphone? I'm not sure. Yes, See, are you there? Yes. Okay. All right. So thinking about your topic here, peace. Um, so you're going to talk about how peace has improved. And I want you to think about in your context. Um, okay. I'm looking at your con context here. You're talking about PTSD. Um, you're talking about alcoholism. So I'm not sure exactly how those relate to peace, but peace is important for mental health. Uh, maybe talk about mental health. And I, I feel like peace is something different. Like for me, peace relates more to freedom. Maybe the topic, maybe start your title with mental health. Right. And then in the context, um, you don't have to talk about very like specific examples of mental health. I want you to think about how it's improved. When is, has it improved? Where has it improved? Why has it improved? OK, because later on you can talk about the specifics, right? We're not quite there yet. We'll get into that information later, but for right now, it's more about the context. So if you were going to tell somebody, okay, I'm going to talk about this topic, and you were just going to, on your own words, talk about the scope, like spe the specifics of it, right? Think about that. Think about those question words and answering some of those question words in the context. And make sure, and this is for everyone, make sure all of you are writing in complete sentences, right? Subject. And a predicate. Does that uh, that make sense to Braulio? Yes. Okay. Ben, sorry, I must leave this time, but I will finish this uh, later today. It's okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fine, Oscar. Okay. Thanks to you. All right. Have a good weekend. We'll see you Monday. Braulio, I went ahead and muted your mic, but feel free to unmute it if you need uh, to say anything, okay? Yes. Uh, where can I find the um, the images that you uploaded about like the reference, the references <laughs> in publicaciones? Okay, so oh, if you go into it, Microsoft it, Teams, if you're looking at my screen here, I'm going to go under post and scroll up. Are these the ones you're referring to? Oh, yeah. Did you upload uh, one for like websites? Uh, let's see. Yeah, there are different types of websites. So, you know, if it's not one of like this is one of the ones I uploaded uh, this week web web page on a website with a group or auth with a group author. If you think that this is not one of the types that you have, let me know and I'll uh, we'll look at it because there are different types of websites. So, or if you want me to look at what you have and we can discuss it. 
Yeah, please. I mean, I have my uh, references like in the spreadsheet so you can look at it. Can you post the uh, link in the chat? Uh, Wendy, uh, could you? Oh, there you go. Got it. Okay. Okay. All right. I think the one we have will work. Let's take a look again. Okay, Wendy, I think what I would do, I would use this as an example. So I would begin with, I would write out, let's see. Okay, I would begin with ICEF monitor as the name of the page, period. Then in parentheses, I would write out 2016 comma. Now here I would use this first example. I would put the month and then the day. So the year comma March and spell out March completely space 18 in the parentheses period. Then the title of the the page the growing demand for English language learning in Mexico. And notice that this is italicized. Maybe it's hard to see here, but uh, the title of the page is in italics, period, and then the URL. So basically, this first example, I think, is a good example to, to use. Is there a space after the period? before like pasting the link? Always, always. Okay. doesn't matter where you use a period. If you use a period anywhere, know that there is one space after the period. Okay, uh, do I have to like follow the same example with my second link? Can you check it out? Okay. Mm. No, this is this is different. Now, this is a journal article. This is a, a peer review journal article. All right. This is a very reliable source just right off the bat. OK, this is a lot different than your other example. OK, in terms of just the validity. OK, this is a, a journal article. So and it has a DOI. All right, so let's look at let's look at an example here. Now, what I'm showing you here, if you're looking at my screen, this same presentation, also there's a link in Microsoft uh, Teams, okay? I think I uploaded it yesterday or two days ago. Uh, but here, 
you'll find some examples. And what you're going to need is this first example. I think. Let's see. With it, yeah. Uh, let me double check one last thing here. So, did you post the link in posts? <laughs> yep. In the post section. Yep. Everything's okay. in posts. Everything I post there is is in post. I think it was yesterday or two days ago. It was we were talking about it in class. Um, the only thing you might have to go look for is the the URL, and this is the URL for your article. All I did was I clicked on this DOI because that's not a URL. You actually need the URL, and then you'll find it right here. Now here's the example. Basically, OK, so. This is what uh, you can use as a guide. Now, the only difference here is that the the link is down below. The link should be right after the period after the page numbers. OK, so keep it within. Within the uh, the en the entry. What do I do with the page number? What do you mean? The, the page number in this case is like 309 to 327. I mean, you know, in this example, like it's located at. So here, let me show you. This is the author. This is the year. This is the name of the article. This is the name of the journal. All journals, almost all journals have a volume number. And some also have an issue number. The issue number is in parentheses. The volume number comes before the issue number, if there is an issue number, comma, and then this is the page number the page number, the first page of the article to the last page of the article. And then there's a period, and then you'll have one space, and then insert the, the DOI URL. Okay, okay. Uh, can you show me again? Where did you click to to get like the URL? Because you did it like kind of fast, and I didn't like notice what you did. Okay, Wendy here, uh, do you see where I'm pointing? Mm, nope. <laughs> yeah, do you see my cursor? You don't see my cursor, do you? No, I don't. No? Okay. Um, just below the title, where it says English language teaching in public schools, pr public primary schools. Okay, right below that, it says article in international journal, blah, 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 blah. Underneath that, it says DOI. And then it says 10 period, 1, 10, 80, so on. Do you see that? Yeah. Okay, click there. And if you click there, it should open up this page here. Oh, okay, okay, I see it. Okay, so you guys can't see my cursor, right? 
I have to check the recording. That's I never noticed that before. I thought you guys could see my cursor. But yeah, you see it there below the HTTPS forward slash DOI dot org. That's the URL that I have to paste? Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Ben. Yes. Do we have to add more information to our context and measurements or not yet? Just what we wrote in the matrix. In the wiki? Uh-huh. Yeah, just copy and paste whatever you have in the matrix to your wiki. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, Wendy, if you can, uh, I'm looking at your context. Again, just focus on the the improvement, okay? And what kind of improvement, right? Maybe think about some of the question words. How, why, when, where, what, with whom? Um, I know you mentioned Mexico. Um, are you talking about at all levels, at all educational levels? Or are you talking about, are you going to focus on maybe a specific level? Um, when, when it says recent years, but what, what's the time frame that you're thinking about? Um, why maybe mention, why do you think that this happened? Um, you know, think of again, some of the question words just to be a little bit more specific and, and, uh, just focus again, where you say, uh, Mexico has been, has had quite has had quite good improvements uh, in the English language educational system there. Okay. Okay, thank you. Ben. Yes. Uh, could you tell me how to make the reference of my link? All right, is it the one here that's in the matrix? Yes. All right, uh, let's see. All right. I think we have an example. Okay, I think I would use uh, this newspaper article example. So we're going to begin with the author. So we've got here Abraham, uh, Abraham, Tanya, Abraham. So Abraham first and then Tanya. You've got the date. Then this first, this is going to be the title of the uh, page, okay, or the article. 
and then in parentheses where it says uh, psychologist, let's see, no, I'm sorry, where it says the Washington Post, you'll put YouGov. Okay, so YouGov will be in italics, and then the URL, the link up here. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Ben, could you tell me if my context is okay now? Mm. Okay. Um, do you want to talk about the the why this why it's better? Like for because maybe the 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 program the national program that's that they implemented or were you planning on talking about that no i am paulina not wendy ah sorry uh, south sudan has made strong progress in improving its education system Okay, uh, so, all right. So do you think in the, um, yeah, the context looks fine. Now I'm thinking about the title. Do you wanna just include in your title, South Sudan instead of poor countries or are you planning on talking about other countries? No, just South Sudan, I will change that. Okay, yeah, I think this is more specific. Um, let's see, the change. The, the, when you say the chance or the change, or the chance for a child? No, that's right. Okay. Life the chance day for opportunity? A, yeah. Right. No, that's fine. The chance for the for a child in South Sudan to receive schooling has increased. All right. All right. If if it's um if you plan on talking about why this happened, like if they implemented some national program you might include that. It depends on what you plan on talking about and, and what you found in the articles, right? But if you can think about a why also, like answering why, right, or or how, but generally, you know, you don't have to go into detail, but uh, if there was some sort of change that the government implemented that resulted in this improvement, you might mention it uh, as well. But but it's, but yeah, th th this is the idea. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. All right, guys, we're just about at the end of the, the class. Um, again, to review, what we wanna try to complete today is the matrix, making sure we have a good context, that we have good measurements, that we're using complete sentences to share what our context is and what our measurements are. And also once you finish the matrix, then that you update your individual wiki in the virtual classroom. All right, so again, make sure that you just copy and paste over from the matrix, the topic, the context, and the measurements. And then list out the references, however many you have, anywhere from one to four, and uh, you write them out according to APA, right? If you need to do a search online, you can uh, usually find what you're looking for if you type in, and I would use these keywords. I would type in APA Publication Manual, seventh edition. I would type this out first, and then after that, type in what you think, what type of source you think you have. Is it a 
uh, a website? Is it a uh, maybe a news article online? Right, and then include keywords that represent the type of reference that you think you have. And a lot of times you can find what you're looking for. So if I say, uh, let's see, online news article, right? Hopefully I'll get some hits here. Now, because the seventh edition hasn't been out for very long, it's only been out for about six months, you know, the information is fairly new, but just by doing this search, I think I have some hits that will help me. Okay, and a lot of times you can find what you're looking for. Like right here, it's giving me examples of an online article with the DOI. Now you'll have to read through these to again, make sure it is what you're looking for. Newspaper articles, okay. And you've got some examples of both the references and also the citations. This looks like a pre pretty good source here. Right, but this is just a college, right? So, yeah, just try to do searches that way. Of course, you can uh, send me a, a chat, but try to uh, investigate what you can so that you get used to looking online for what you're uh, trying to find, especially when it comes to APA. And always, always, always make sure that you're uh, using the right example and then following to the T, really specifically, what what type of text is being used, when, italic, when italicized text is being used, check the spacing, the punctuation, all of those details. Those, that's what makes APA, APA a little bit difficult is getting those details right. And the easiest thing to do is just to basically use this as a model, right, as an example, making sure, notice that in the title, only the first word is capitalized. OK, so make sure when you have your title that you're not capitalizing the whole title. Right. But also compare that to the journal where most of the words, the main words are capitalized. All right. So this is the, the level of detail that you need to pay close attention to whenever you're writing out references. And I want you guys to have some experience with that going into next year next semester when you get into uh, your classes and you're writing academic articles, right? So that you're a little bit familiar with uh, APA. All right, any questions Teacher. guys about the activity? I have a question, but yes. of the Excel activity. Can I talk about how the drugs affect their mental health? Um, I, I want you to think about um, progress. I want you to think about something that's changed for the better, something that's improved oh, okay. over the last 5, 10, 20, 50, 100 years. You, you decide based on the articles. But this whole uh, task, this uh, exercise, is to think about something that has improved from the past into the future until now. Okay, so that's that's the idea. If you're talking about a particular health treatment or a health condition, then the idea would be that you are going to say that there's been progress made in treating this illness, this mental illness. All right, we're not going to talk about the negatives. We're not going to talk about there's still problems and I, I understand that, and there, but that's not the purpose of this exercise. It's really to focus only on the progress that that we've made. Okay. Does that uh, does that clear clarify your doubts, Braulio? Yes. Okay. Anybody else have any questions? All right, so I guess then we'll go ahead and conclude uh, today's class. Uh, I want you guys to have a good weekend, and uh, next week we're going to start our last week. We're going to spend the whole week on this activity, continuing to add to it. So try to get um, 
your wiki started so that next week we can continue on with the task. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good weekend, and we'll see you on Monday. Thank you, you too. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.